Michael Eddy is a multi-talented singer-songwriter, actor, multi-instrumentalist and dancer from LA. His debut single, Small Towns, blends rock, pop and country for a captivating sound. And Michael is with us here. How are you today? I'm great, I'm great. Happy to be here. So what's the inspiration behind your debut single, Small Towns? So my inspiration for Small Towns was um, I'm from a big city. The song is basically about meeting a, a girl from a small town and um, I guess learning from her differences and her um, taking her good qualities and applying them to yourself to become like a better person and grow for the future. And would you say the song means a lot to you personally? Yeah, no, it definitely does mean a lot to me personally and I tried to, I mean, when me and my team were writing I tried to use as much of my life as I could to incorporate in the song. And it's kind of an anthemic pop country tune, so what is the reasoning behind the style that you chose for it? Well, I've always loved like that, that kind of sound, that kind of like poppy sound. I've wanted to experiment with some country and I thought it blended a real song. So I'm super, super happy with how it turned out. And because it's about kind of a small town, did that influence the genre at all? Because I suppose we associate country with small towns sometimes, don't we? Yeah, yeah. That's actually kind of, I thought it was like cool how it kind of worked out like that because like the, yeah. it was kind of country. And then I was like, wait, it's about a small town that kind of like goes together perfectly. And is there a particular message that you'd want to convey through the song? Yeah, I think as I was talking about like incorporating like other values and instilling them in yourself and like honestly yeah. just a big like keep an open mind and kind of new things and like don't be a, don't be afraid yeah i guess that to try new things now you've actually collaborated with renowned producer michael orland for this single so what was your experience working with him well michael orland he's he's like a mentor to me he's been my vocal teacher for a while um and he helped the music of the song and it was so um it was so great to have him on the project and uh, make the song this today do you think that his expertise, I suppose, has set you up quite well because this is your debut single so you've got some expertise already and he's maybe given you some advice yeah um no i i think so especially like yeah i, I think so and then he also helped write the hook so i think that was yeah. like a big part song that people really liked um but yeah i don't think i'm gonna be what it is without michael orland and how important is it for your debut single to be really good because did you feel the pressure a bit because if people don't like this song, they might never listen again. Yeah, um, no, the pressure was definitely there, and, and I was like, kind of, I was kind of worried at first because I really liked it. I was like, all right, is everybody else gonna like it? Yeah. Um, but then I saw a lot of positive feedback, and I saw that everyone does like it. So I'm like, that's great. But now everyone's like, where's the next one? Where's the second yes. song? Because it's so much. I'm like, I know. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's a good question. Where is the second song? Are you working on it? Yeah, I am working on it as we speak, and it uh, mm. should be done in a month, though. So it's 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 definitely coming along. Yeah, that sounds exciting. You've drawn inspiration from a variety of people, you know, despite this song being country, you've got inspiration from acts like The Beatles and Marvin Gaye. So how have these different artists influenced your music? Well, I think, especially like when I listen to music, I have I listen to all kinds of music in those specific artists like Beatles, Marvin Gaye, Red Hot Chili Pepper, Michael Jackson definitely influenced my um my music in my ear. But um, yeah. I'd say as far as performance goes, I'd say Michael Jackson and Elvis Presley definitely are like my biggest musical inspirations. And what is it about them that you enjoy so much? I think for both for Michael Jackson and Elvis Presley, I mean, they're amazing vocalists, but I think the fact that they can both dance really well and, and just put on a show and be amazing performers, I think that really sets them apart from everybody else. And that's what I've kind of taken from them as artists. So what was it that prompted you to start creating music initially? Well, I mean, I've... <laughs> I've been a musician ever since I can remember. I remember I was at my third birthday party and I was singing John I always loved the music. Yeah. But um, then it really started when I came into high school. I've started like playing all these different instruments. I've gotten even better voice. And then I really wanted to start my career by start having a debut single. And that's when I came out with Small Towns in November. And that just kind of started my music making life. How come it's taken you such a long time? Because of course you mentioned you've kind of been musical all your life. So why are you releasing the single now? Is it just that maybe now you feel you're ready? Because if a child released an album, it probably wouldn't be that good. Yeah, yeah. Well, I I did try to make a few songs like when I was younger. And they, honestly, they weren't great. Yeah. Um, but as I've gotten older and I've gained more, which I still have a lot to gain, but more yeah. life. Um, I think that's kind of helped with the uh, the the realness of the song and real uh, like stemming from something real. I think that's what really set it apart from when I was younger. And when you were younger, did you have any people? in your family that influenced or shaped the artists that 
that you are today? Well, I mean, my mom and my dad are so um, supportive and caring, and they've been so helpful in my music career and my and everything. And then when I'm in, I'd say like five years ago, I started a program called School of Rock, and that's where I really started like all different kinds of music and like started performing and knowing like all these different instruments. So that's kind of when like the music uh, aspect of my life really started. School of Rock is that the actual name of it? Is it yeah. based on the movie, or has it always been a thing? No, it's it's a it's a it's a camp. I, they have it like all over the world, but I do the one in here in L. Uh, I've been taking it since I was like a little kid, and it's just it's like a, it's like a literally a school of rock. It's like, yeah. a, it's like a music school for people who want to become better musicians, and it's like shaped my music uh, persona. I guess. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? Because I think school of rock is a common phrase. It's like the university of life. People say they went there, but it's kind of a joke. It didn't actually exist. But you can actually say that you went to the school of rock. No, I can say I went there. I was there for six years and I did so much from it. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess it's the school of rock, but did it teach you musically about all genres and just music itself? Oh yeah. I mean, I was, I mean, I, I knew some music, but when I went into school of rock, I was, I didn't know anything. I mean, I was like a blank and I really got in there and they would teach me about nineties rock hip hop uh jazz um classic rock alternative like everything yeah. and that really my music uh music uh, ecology and you're actually off to college now but you're still going to continue with music and acting so how are you gonna balance these different aspects of your life i was i was actually thinking about that last night i mean college <laughs> is whirlwind but um i just I, I, time management i mean i just i guess i just gotta manage it as well as i can because you know it's it's gonna be tough to do but i think i really want it and i really want to pursue this so I think the more like the more as the more hard work I put into it, it'll 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 flourish. Yeah, because you want to keep doing your hobbies and the stuff you enjoy because you don't want to go completely insane with just college stuff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Like I want to do what I love, too. So I'm not just like college, college. And of course, it's not just the music you do. As I mentioned, you're an actor as well and a dancer. So do you struggle with the amount of hats you've got as it is without the college? Well, I mean, acting right now with the strike and everything, it's been super slow. But before oh, the yeah. strike, it's 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 great to really have like, because a lot of roles I go out for, I mean, they do require like some singing or maybe a little being able to dance. So being able to do the ball acting really can really helps my whole repertoire. Well, of course, you're working on another song. Is there anything that you could tell us about this coming up that you haven't mentioned? I guess both music Physically and in other acting and dancing stuff, depending on strikes. Yeah. Um, well, I'd say it's going to stem more into like an alternative, like it's going to stray away from country, um, like more into like an alternative rock, maybe with like a hint of pop. So yeah. I'm like going in that direction for this next song. Sounds good. And in the meantime, this debut single is of course called Small Towns. Where are yeah. all the places that we're able to get it? Find it on Apple Music, Spotify, on Michael Eddy, um, in Small Towns. It's, I hope every Everyone checks it out. Sounds good. Well, many thanks for talking to us today. It's been great to have you here. Of course.